Hi, my name is Amy, and I'd like to tell you how my life completely changed when I was still in middle school. You see, back when I was in eighth grade, I was very popular. Maybe a little too popular, Miss Pregnant Pants. Yeah, we're doing another one. And I kind of want to skip all this intro crap, because I already did all of it. I'm going to sum it up all for you. So, Cheap Brainers talks about, oh, every guy likes me, blah, blah, blah. I I've watched half this video already. Then I realized my screen capture software decided to have a brain aneurysm. But it's fine. We're fine. I mean, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I want to die. I actually just want to die. Let's just skip all the boring crap. Tension and perhaps sometimes flirt back. That was yeah, the people gave her presents. It's fine. That's it, though. At least until I met Alex. Oh, so different about him. His goddamn hair looks like he just took off the mop head, threw it on there, combed it, called it a day, said, have a nice day, sir. You're going to be proud of how you look. And this lady, you look like you're 30. I would actually sell a bar. Actually, I wouldn't sell. I want to sell a 32 pack of alcohol. Do you? We don't have those. I wouldn't sell you a 30 pack. I wouldn't sell you alcohol in general because I'd be like, where'd you come from? A goddamn party? Did you come from a college party? Go home. Sober up. Goddamn. Sort of God, you think she's on LSD? It was the end of school party, and we had all decided to have a big dance. It was a semi-formal event, so my mom and dad bought me the prettiest dress I had ever worn. Never have I ever heard of a semi-formal middle school dance. All of mine were all parties. Okay. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't even want to just watch this and everything. I feel like I would actually punch my monitor and break it. Due to how stupid it would be and how angry I'd get at this animated pixel ass motherfucker. Looking like a goddamn toad looking ass. Anyways. You and your dad hold on. I gotta go back to your dad. Not your dad you know what? Shut up. We're muting you and getting to where we need <laughs> Good internet, by the way. Your dad looks like a goddamn motherfucking oval. Dude looks so stupid. I thought I got him out of the dumpster. And I can't use the same roast I used last time, saying it looks like a loaf of bread. Dude, why why does your head actually look like... Your mom said it looks like a goddamn spoon. I don't know how... You all look like spoons. Like, here's your hand. This dude looks like a wooden spoon. Looks like I'm about to get my ass whooped for not cooking the bread properly. Dude. Actually go get plastic surgery. You look, you look like you had plastic surgery. How old are you? 12, 13. There's no way. There's no way. That shit's fake. Faker than Kim Kardashian, motherfucker. Get out of here. All right, we're going to skip until we get to something hilarious. So fast, and I couldn't stop smiling. For the first time in my young life, I was actually considering dating someone. I didn't know how my parents would take it. You're 13. That's how they take it. Like, you don't know shit. But I knew it was time. We started flirting really hard after a while, and I had my fir first kiss with him that very night. So I heard what they were about to say. That, that's not a kiss. That's a full-blown make-out session. That's a full-on go-home-and-you-get-in-your-goddamn-birthday-suit with him. So why the f Okay, no, no dead memes. No dead memes here. Besides my life. Oh, no, I'm still alive. Ha ha ha! Oh, I hate my life. I play Minecraft too much. It didn't take long before we got a bit handsy with each other. It was all so new, and I wasn't used to feeling that way. Okay, quick question. If you get handsy, if you know what this means, do you still have a V-card? That's that's my question. And I'm not talking about V-Bucks. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Answer in the comments. Do, do you still have it? Like, is handsy what she's talking about? And I'm talking like maybe a step further and she's in a birthday suit, but still. It, do, do you have your V card? Because if so, I can't roast her on the way I want to. How depressing that is, I'm not really sure. And I'm being very quiet, but like, this is actually like, I feel like this is like a stoner question, but like, are you? Like, I don't even have my hands on my mouse or keyboard, I can I can do like a whole bunch of hand signs like I'm talking to a paraplegic, but still. We're a deaf person, more like, but still. You look like a paraplegic. Anyways. 
I'm about to get really mad at this animated uh, bitch. Not gonna lie. I'm, so, I'm still trying to figure out if you'd still have your V card. That's, like that. That's an actual question. Doesn't necessarily apply to me. Why? We don't talk about it. But that is that is that is a good question. Hmm. And that reminds me. So the other day I was talking with a really old, a really, really old friend. And I've known them since I was like, what? Seven? No. So pretty much like since I was like two. So she was like talking about how her boyfriend do the dirty whatever. And she's like, I get more action. You know, I'm like, yeah, so that means you're a I don't know if I can say that. I pretty much called her a prostitute. I said, yeah, you're a prostitute. Good job. You want a, you want a, um, you want a cookie? You want a goddamn cookie? You're being used more than a goddamn fucking oven? Like, goddamn. Like, you're used. You do something that you use, then. Like, I, I want to actually have somebody care about me. I mean, that's not going to happen, let's be honest here, but, like, still. <laughs> like, at the same time, it's like, yeah, I want to go to your house and just smash and call it a day. Never talk, and don't talk to you for a couple of days. Th that, that's pretty much what she got. And I'm like, uh, you talk to me more than your boy. Enough about me. If you want more life stories, do leave a like and let me know in the comments. Because I have hilarious things that I say. I do hilarious things a lot of times. And I hear a lot of dumb shit. <laughs> I'm completely honest with you. Like, this just makes, like, what I know makes this just look like a nice play. Except the brother got me pregnant. Like, that was, in the stealing... And the twins sleeping with the dude. That was pretty bad, too. That was pretty cooked. Hmm. I don't know. Back with the actual video before I go on a tangent for 20 minutes. I'll admit that I didn't handle things too well. I got blinded by how nice it felt to kiss him, and one thing led to another. Soon we were both sneaking out of the auditorium and upstairs to one of the empty classrooms. All alone, we got to kiss a lot more, and you can imagine how things got out of hand pretty soon. Don't, don't the schools have, like, cameras and shit? Like, I have... And why the hell are you still in your goddamn dress? Like... Eh? <laughs> <laughs> like... What? I, what? You know what? I don't have the brain power. I just got out of a class. I'm in college now, by the way. So if there's... Yeah, I'm going to be home a lot more, so odds are I'm going to do more videos because I'm bored. Anyways, you're stupid. Your boyfriend's stupid. You both look like toads. And you're probably going to give birth to a fucking goddamn mushroom. That was a joke on the toad from Mario. If you didn't get it. I was too young to fully understand everything that was happening, but I wasn't silly either. I knew I shouldn't have stayed there alone with Alex, but he was so perfect for me. I felt Also, if you guys are seeing the the skip, like the video skip, that isn't just that isn't just the video. That's me too. I'm kind of looking at it, making sure everything's running decently. And they look identical. In other words, dog shit. So yeah, it's skipping for me. That's a skipping for you. And YouTube. Hashtag answer us, YouTube. Is a thing that we need. I don't go on a tangent about that another day. I felt like I was already in love. And that he was the guy I had been dreaming about. That You're 13 years old. He looks like he's about to fondle with some... Uh, I don't know what appropriate word for that is. You know what I mean. That night he walked me home and we kissed goodnight at my porch. I felt like I was floating on air. I swear I couldn't stop smiling. The next morning I told my mom that I had kissed a guy for the very first time and that I really liked him. See the dad would just go over and go. You goddamn whore. Oh, <laughs> uh, not really. That'd be back in my. Nope, nope, nope. No history tangent. No history tangent. God damn it. I'm such a nerd. Such a goddamn nerd. I love history. Anyways. Back to whatever this... Uh, oh, I wish I could throw this in a burn pile. Just burn it. Stay video. Just take it. Just burn it. Of course, I didn't tell her everything that had happened or that I had experienced other firsts that night as well. She would have freaked out, and I didn't want her to be mad at me. The same night you slept with a dude. Uh, 
That's why she was still in her dress. God damn it. I'm disappointed in you, lady. I really am. I want to die. I actually want to die right now. I really did like Alex, and she'd never allow us to date if she knew what had happened between us. She told me she wanted to meet this boy I liked so much before giving me permission to date him. Of course, I agreed, but I didn't know if he'd want to do that. I texted him that night, and much to my surprise, he said yes. Alex told me he really liked me as well, and that he'd be more than happy to come over for dinner. Alex was such a gentleman in front of my parents. He completely won them over, and they gave us their blessing to begin dating. Of course, Dad put some ground rules, like I had to come back home before 10 p.m., and that we couldn't be alone in my room with the door closed. I kind of giggled at that, since my mom and dad didn't have any idea of everything we had already done. But it was fine, we didn't need to rush into doing that again, we were still very young after all. The problem was, a few months later, I began feeling really odd. I would get sick in the morning, and my belly was starting to swell up a bit. I didn't understand what was going on, and thought I was just under the weather, or had eaten something that didn't agree with me. The problem was that it kept getting worse, and it didn't go away. I mean, my belly was getting bigger, and I knew that something was wrong. Like I said before. Hey. Eh. Like, I'm just so like I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I I don't want to yell at this pixel fix. I don't want to yell at these goddamn pixels anymore. Like after watching so many people roast the hell out of people, after listening to these for hours and hours, video corrupting, something going wrong. Like I've been sitting here for half an hour listening to the same lady talk about the same crap, doing the same skits. I just want to go play Minecraft. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Like, just go, sir. Just like go here. Uh, no, I know. Just do that. Just go here. Go here. Call it it. I already watched that. Eh. Yeah, this is what I watch in my free time. Except that. Whatever. I'll let it play and do the content for you guys. That I wasn't completely sheltered either, so I soon realized that I had to be pregnant. I freaked out completely. My best friend came to my rescue. I. Yeah. Yeah, I was just making sure the recording was okay, but hey. And she arrived at my place with a pregnancy. Eh. You're in middle school. That's not supposed to be a thing, right? Right? Eh. Were you in a Lambo? Eh. Or a Porsche or a Ferrari? Eh. What the hell is that? Is that the feel or is that the. F eh. <laughs> so many questions. <laughs> Why is the driving wheel in the middle, in the middle of the right side? Eh. Where are you? What the hell is going on? Whatever. Don't, don't, don't have it. Time to go play Minecraft for 12 hours. Eh. Yes, I am going on Minecraft while I'm supposed to be recording. Deal with it. Eh. Eh. Alright, there's now a Minecraft Let's Play. Me going to Skyblock. Oh, God. I have got to hit my life. My rescue. I had texted her about my suspicions, and she arrived at my place with a pregnancy test. Those were the two longest minutes of my life. We were both in the bathroom after I peed on the stick, and couldn't stop staring at the test. Finally, the results were displayed, and it turned out I really was pregnant. I began sobbing, and my best friend hugged me really tightly. If I was your best friend, I'd call you a goddamn insert vulgar phrase. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how young you guys are. I'm gonna be completely honest. I swear a lot. Payaso pendejo. Ella es un payaso pendejo. Alright, I'm just gonna swear in Spanish, eh? Que es una puta, necesita matarse. If you know Spanish, you know what I said. You know what I said. And you probably agree with it. Call it her stupid ass clown. That's what I did. She asked me what I wanted to do about it. Necro toaster bath, please. Right, I'm gonna go play Minecraft while this is playing. <laughs> I was a bit confused uh, about that whole mess, but in the end, I made up my mind. I had to be responsible and do the right thing. I was going to have that baby and be the best mom I could, even if I was really young myself. 
Of course, I was really shocked that this was happening and so disappointed that I could have been so foolish. I wanted to make up for the big mess I... What did you think was going to happen? You're going to do the dance and your birthday soon and then everything would be peachy? Welcome to the real world, biatch. That's all I got for you. All I got. Oh my god. Ugh, I don't even... Excuse me. I had gotten myself in. So that night I sat down with my parents and told them everything. They were so mad at first. Of course, I saw it coming, but it still hurt to see them so upset with me. I was their only daughter, and they had high hopes for my future. They felt I was throwing it all away. I promised that I would keep studying and would take responsibility for my mistakes. They were glad to hear me say that, but still not too happy about the whole situation. I'd have slapped you. I'll be completely honest. I'd just been like, oh, really? Oh, you, you did that? Oh. You want to know my opinion? Right then and there. Not not even a question, not not anything, just nope. Get wrecked, nerd. That'd have been me. Just get wrecked, nerd. Nobody loves you, nobody will ever love you. They told me I needed to talk to Alex right away. I got so flustered by that, but knew it was the only way to go. My parents called his folks and we all got together to speak about it. I was so surprised that Alex completely manned up. He never once tried to weasel his way out of it, and his parents told me I had their full support as well. Of course, both our moms and dads were angry at us, but we were still their children, and they were not going to just kick us out or something like that. Wait, the man isn't going to run away and not pay child support? Hold on. Hold on. Eh. Yep, nope, this is not a rabbit hole I want to go down. Nope, oh, back to the video. Like that. <laughs> well, uh, good ending. Good job, you manned up. Good job, you stayed. You want a cookie? Okay, kind of all I got. Would you like a cookie? Yeah. I got nothing. Alright guys, that's pretty much all I got today. I, I'm fried. I, I don't even want to talk about this lady. Yeah, if you guys do want me to talk about just my past life, anything from there, uh, yeah, let me know. That'll be about it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next video. Deuces. Oh. Uh. So that's why I, my subcount is at 77. Wait, it's at 77. Hee. <laughs>